Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and you're watching another outgoing mail video. In this mail, I basically do little project shares of, uh, I would say around 10 different Happy Meals I've sent out over the past few months. Um, the reason why I like doing these videos so much is because it's projects that I've made off camera, usually um, at night in my craft room without worrying about creativity or originality or coming up with new ideas and making good videos so this is just what i like to make when no one's watching and i like showcasing these also to show you the types of mail i send out and to show you that like for example this project is pretty elaborate this is something i'm very very proud of but it doesn't always have to be big and that is what this uh, video will also show you so as you can see this is a little accordion folder it holds my letter uh some tay some stickers you just saw and then some other random goodies such as little cards little tags and a pack of uh, little stamps and if you want to learn how to make one of these little accordion folders yourself i will link the tutorial down below or you can find it on my channel it's called vintage accordion folder tutorial i'm guessing <laughs> um i also have my photo diary app here i use a photo diary app in case you didn't know it's called diaro but i guess there's tons of different photo diary apps out there so i can tell you who this went to and this went to naomi in switzerland i sent this out at the beginning of december so it should have arrived by now um this was definitely one of my favorite things I've made. I used the collection Dear Lizzie, It's All Good. I'm very happy with this. <laughs> uh, then we have an example of simpler mail. This one went to Marissa in Canada. Um, a part of me usually feels guilty when I make smaller mail like this, but it is made with love uh it's a postcard with a teeny tiny pocket filled with goodies on the back and i'm always telling other people so i should also tell myself that it's okay to send um something smaller it doesn't always have to be big because that puts a lot of pressure on you and hopefully the receiver will be happy whether it's big or small that shouldn't really matter at least in my humble opinion that pocket by the way is from in love art store um i received a couple dice from them to try out hashtag not sponsored <laughs> next up is this fun envelope this one went to jocelyn in the usa this is uh, by far uh one of my favorite things i've ever done with paper scraps <laughs> i literally used um, paper scraps to decorate the envelope and then i stamped those pretty um tea stamps on there and what i also showed you were the lovely label stickers i got from nikki a little while ago or snail dead crafts am i saying that correctly i think i am and that was a mixed media pocket letter i'm only showing it kind of quickly because i did a video on that and i didn't want to ruin like the surprise of the video obviously i want you guys to watch the video as well so if you want to watch that i will link that down below as well so mixed media pocket letter then this one let me quickly check the app oh my cat is just making noise in the background this one went i cannot find it um these videos are kind of in random order and there are mail clips from months so this one went to anna in spain and i sent it out in october 2019 i did a loaded pocket i think i did that for a video as well i will try and find it and link it down below it's like a loaded pocket did I call it a loaded pocket I don't remember and then I also included um, some La Papier stationery some pretty tags some twine and pom-pom trim uh, samples some stickers duh, and then um, some other goodies as well this one one of my favorite envelopes this is also one picture on my instagram that got a lot of likes one of these envelopes uh, by the way if you don't follow me yet on instagram go do that i share pictures of a snail mail i mean what's not to like by the way i hope you guys like the random cat shot you keep getting this one went to corinna in brazil and i sent this out in november um yeah i did this for a video as well i know for a fact that that is already online I didn't expect so many 
projects of my videos to be on here, but this is from the pen pal pocket flipbook something that I did with phone memo. I will link that down below as well. I didn't know I was going to link that many videos. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. This one I do know it's uh, to Sylvia in Germany. I um, have those stamp, like stamp sets that match a certain value. I'm trying not to show too much of the letter, um, but I have some pretty stamps. I cannot not always do that because usually the stamps don't add up to the value of one international stamp, but sometimes I get lucky. And then this is another one of those pockets that I showed you before, just this different paper, different goodies. And then instead of putting it on the back of a postcard, I put it inside a loaded greeting card. Now, this one is an outgoing swap. I always say I don't do swaps and I don't do swaps. I don't take on any new swaps. People very often message me, but the only time I do swaps is in the Dutch swapper group. And of course, partially I do this for fun, don't get me wrong, but there's also a part of me that just wants to do these swaps to sort of encourage Dutch people to continue doing swaps because and sending out mail because I know that I have a strong position on the internet and if I can promote the Dutch swapper group to as many people as possible, I know a lot more Dutchies will find the snow wheel hobby. <laughs> so this is a tag flip we made for one of the swaps. I think I do one swap in the group every one and a half months. Uh, usually it's the uh, teamwork postcard swap where we work with multiple people on one postcard. So everyone gets to do a layer and then it gets sent back to the person who started it. That's usually the only swap I do, but then this video, like this swap was actually uh, based on one of my videos, which was such an honor. Um, basically the swap uh, gu uh, guidelines or rules were that they had to make a tag flip um, by using my tutorial, which was so fun. Um, so yeah, obviously I had to join. I mean, they were using my tag flip. I mean, my tag flip tutorial. And then, yeah, as you can see, I decorated the front and then I usually added some goodies on the back, such as these gorgeous, uh, how would you call these, terrarium stickers. I used a lot of Maggie Holmes, uh, but also different elements such as those vintage tickets and I don't know, just items that I liked. <clears throat> Excuse me for my coughing. Uh, th those are some Pip stickers. I haven't done a tag flip in a long time. I always find it kind of difficult, like how many tags, and I also find it difficult to, like, are you supposed to do the front and back? I never really know, but I love receiving tag flips and also seeing this made me quite happy. And then in the envelope, um, obviously I included a lot of goodies in the, tag flip itself such as these Maggie Holmes cut aparts forever my favorite designer Maggie Holmes especially the older collections um, the newer ones are not that much my style the Willow Lane I don't know I don't really like the animals but the flowers and the, the, the butterflies and everything that will forever hold a special place in my heart so obviously I added like washi tape samples and stuff like that in the tag flip and then as you can see top left I also added tea and some candy because I read somewhere that she really likes the receiver really likes candy and I was lucky enough to be able to send my tag flip to um, my co-founder of the group basically we're both um, admins <laughs> of the Dutch shopper group if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're Dutch we have a group on Swapbot called Dutch Swapper Group or actually it's called Nederlandse Swappers, but no one of you is going to understand that. <laughs> I will link it down below as well. You can join if you want to uh, be a part of Dutch swaps. Those are a lot of layered flower embellishments that I made. It's such a pretty gift. Like the layered flowers are really annoying to make because you have to die cut them and then you have to very carefully assemble them, but they look so nice as a gift. So thinking I should make some more of those. If you can hear my voiceover stopping and starting again, it's because I keep coughing and I'm trying to cut all of that out because that's annoying. And I'm coughing because I'm home alone and I haven't really talked to anyone this weekend except for doing the La Papier unboxing video yesterday and the PO Box opening video today. Like my camera is literally the only thing I've talked to all weekend. So I guess that's why I'm coughing. And then to finish off this uh, ring, I'm adding like a twill 
bow kind of just to sort of fill up the ring a little bit more then next up this one if i'm not mistaken went to my pen pal jenny let me search jen yeah my pen pal jenny in germany uh, i sent this out in december but included was a sort of fall themed flip book because i wasn't ready to give up the fall theme. <laughs> um, this is something I worked on late at night, so it's not a video. But if I'm not mistaken, I did do another one of those pockets. Did I open it, Vivian? How can I not remember what I've made? Yeah, I did another one of those pockets. I did a video on that. I, this was not meant to be a shameless plug, but if you want to know how to make a pocket like that, I do have a video on that as well which I will link down below. It's not this project, but it's something similar. And then included, I made a little meal tag booklet, um, just a little decorated booklet with my answers and new questions. That blue paper underneath is my letter. We always write very long letters. Um, she's one of my few pen pals that I still have left. And then also included is that beautiful paper clip that I got from Becca with a gold shimmery leaf. And it's made from uh, vintage book pages. I actually, vintage music paper, I mean. I actually received that envelope from someone else, but I reused it because it's too pretty to throw away. And then also included are some sticky notes and some vintage looking tags that I got off of AliExpress. <laughs> and some stickers. One can never go wrong with a sticker. Um, by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to once again include a couple clips from Instagram. Basically, it's going to be pictures of people who have used the the paper letter blog hashtag. So if you make something that is inspired by one of my videos, uh, be sure to use the hashtag the paper letter blog so I can include you in a video as well. For this, your account has to be set to public, otherwise I cannot see it. Now, this is the envelope that went to Abe. Um, I did make a video of the envelope, but I did make a video of the inside, coincidentally. I think I've already closed up the envelope, or haven't I? No, I haven't. That's the project I made for a video. It's a botanical flip book uh, for Abe. I already said that. Um, I will link that video down below as well. It's going to be a whole lot of links. I did not realize. I'm Sage is joining us. You're not gonna knock anything off my desk, are you? Hey, you wanna be on my lap? It's sad you cannot see her right now. If you joined the live stream on Saturday, you saw a whole lot of sage. If you don't know what live stream I'm talking about, uh, there's a link in my description box down below. You also saw some extra goodies I included, such as um, stationery from La Papier and uh, I don't know, red random other things. Sorry for that black spot in the top right. Um, this is a project I made for my pen pal Emilia. It's not a video, but she made a video of opening it. So I'll search for her video and then you can watch that if you want to see. I am fairly certain that she sh shows my mail and then she, in the same video, makes her reply to me. So I included some wintry goodies as well in a little Christmas bag, some Pipstick stickers, which I still have not run out of, some little uh, Christmas tree shaped tags, some Christmas stickers and, and other tags and gift bags and stuff like that. That's the only winter slash Christmas themed meal I've sent out. Uh, because I know maybe pen pot Amelia, she really likes to do themed crafting, at least from what I've seen. And because I wasn't going to do anything like wintry themed, I figured I would just send her some of my supplies. <laughs> and I also included, I cannot show you because it's her address. I made her an address label um, using my little full memo printer basically i just typed out her address and i printed that for her so that she could include that in some mail now this is the actual mail i sent her way um it's a uh flip book that i made using cartabella supplies so all the papers all of the chipboard pieces all of the die cuts that's mainly cartabella supplies um it's a shaker on the front then the first page has once again some uh layered flower embellishments this time i actually the previous time i had only the flowers and now i made them into actual embellishments so i had i added like the hexagon shapes and some uh little dots like pearls 
in the middle of them. And then bottom left, I also included some extra ones so that she could make her own. I included a little uh, collage on that po uh, pocket, uh, pretty paper heart. And then she created a meal tag for me that I could fill out. So I filled that out and I sent it back to her. And then I also included my own meal tag with some questions. Last but not least, um, a lot of Nouveau drops. <laughs> and then I sent her a bunch of cute stickers and I made her a bunch of like doilies or similar doily like die cuts which is a very pretty handmade doilies. I thought that was really cute. So that is uh, the last meal I'm showing you, but don't click away because uh, I'm also going to show you the pictures of people that were inspired by my videos, which is, I'm so glad I, I kind of um, started that hashtag because it's really fun. It, it's so humbling in a way to see people using my videos uh, for inspiration. That's really, really fun. So don't forget to check out the pictures, the users, uh, the users, the, 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 the users, the, the pictures profiles, the people's profiles, username profiles, I don't know, um, that I'm showing as well. And of course the videos I have mentioned down below i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love to see you back for another video if you haven't subscribed yet because i can see that around half of the pe people who watch my videos are not actually subscribed please do please subscribe i would love to have you in the community um i didn't by the way i did do i didn't do this one for a video but i did do the envelope decorating for a video so why wouldn't i mention that down below as well here's the pictures and i hope to see you again very soon thank you for watching Bye bye